On the screen, I have the Workbench Symmetry model open. You can find this Workbench Symmetry model by going to your Working Files folder. Now, we're going to use this model to look at the benefits of symmetry. Right now in this model, I have one gusset in this upper left-hand corner. I need seven more gussets. One at the back corner, four in the middle, and two along the right side. Now, we don't have to use the symmetry. We could use gusset seven more times, but that's not a very efficient method because if the gusset size changes down the road, you have to update each of the eight gussets individually. However, if we use the benefits of symmetry, which is the mirror command, if the gusset size changes down the road, we update the size of the one gusset and all gussets on the entire model are updated. But before we get into the mirror command, I want to add a base plate to the bottom of each one of these six legs. So I'm going to zoom up on this leg here and then select the extrude boss base command. It's asking me to select a planar face or an edge on which to create the sketch. I'm going to go ahead and select this face. And now what I want to do is create a center point rectangle. The problem is I don't have a center point I can snap to, but I do. It's in one of my sketches. In fact, it's in this first sketch here. So I'm going to expand the display pane and turn on or show all of the sketches. I am going to hide the display plane just to give us more screen area. And now I'm going to go to the center point rectangle command. I'm going to click the center point, pull it out, apply a couple smart dimensions, 100 by 100, close out of the sketch. Notice the extrude is heading in the proper direction downward. I'm going to apply a thickness of six to the base plate and close out of the boss extrude command. I'm going to go back to a trimetric view and now I'm ready to begin the mirror command. The mirror command can be found under the features tab. Now, before I can mirror this gusset and this base plate to the back corner, I need a plane I can mirror about. Typically, it is always best to see if your primary planes will work. Front, top, right. Well, I'm going to look at the front plane. It somewhat appears to be running down the middle of the workbench, and that's where I need it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and select front plane and rotate the model. Well, it looks like the front plane is at the back of the model, so that's not going to work for us. So what we need to do is we need to create a reference plane. I'm going to go to reference geometry, select plane. I'm going to select the front face of this square tubing. Rotate the model around, select the front face of this rear tubing, and there we see a preview of the plane. I'm going to close out of the plane command, and just so it's a bit easier to see, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. And now we are ready to use the mirror command. Now, when the mirror command opens, you need to be very careful. We're going to mirror about plane four, which is correct. However, Normally, the default window that opens is features to mirror. We are not mirroring features. We want to mirror bodies. Both this gusset and this base plate is a body. So we're going to minimize this. Notice we can also mirror faces. That's not what we want. We want to mirror bodies. So we're going to expand bodies to mirror. I'm going to go out and select the gusset and the base plate. And you can see the preview. Now that looks good. I'm going to close out of this mirror command. I'm going to create another plane. And this plane I want running right down the middle of this workbench in this orientation here. So I can mirror these two gussets and these two base plates to the center of the table. So I'm going to select this as my first reference point, second reference point, and my third. And there we go. Close out of this plane. Click the mirror command. Bodies to mirror. I'm going to rotate the model just a bit. Select the two gussets. Select the two base plates. And all four of those bodies are mirrored. Close out of the mirror command. Now, I want to mirror some of these bodies to the right side. So I'm going to create another reference plane running right down the middle of this workbench. And there's our new plane. Close out of the plane command. Go back to the mirror command, bodies to mirror just to verify. And I want to mirror all four gussets, one, two, three, four. However, I only need to mirror 
these two outside base plates. Close out of the mirror command, go back to trimetric view, and there we have it. Just to clean this up a bit, I am going to expand the display pane and hide all of these sketches along with the planes. And this concludes our lesson in symmetry.